Hello, it's Judge Rosen, CEO and founder of Fast Call. And I'm going to talk for a few minutes uh, about our data model and uh, packaged objects and fields. Uh, this is a little bit of an advanced overview and, and really more targeted towards uh, uh, current or past, uh, I shouldn't say past, current or older subscribers of uh, Fast Call. Um, so I'm going to talk about uh, objects and fields that are installed in the package and then fields that have uh, been removed. So we're, we're here in the App Exchange um, listing where Salesforce actually is a good place to start because Salesforce tells us here uh, the application was listed in 2013. It actually was listed a little bit before that uh, and updated um, now in the present, 2020, April. Um, and you'll see within the listing, this is our version 6.78. We are in the process of releasing 6.84, which will be in June. Um, and when that uh, package is released, we may off double check their notes, but we may be adding a custom object. Not sure that we are. We might be adding some custom fields and Salesforce shows that here under package content. So objects, applications, tabs, Salesforce is just giving sort of a, a basic overview of what's being installed um, in the package. But when the application is installed uh, during the installation, you're going to see what's actually being installed. And then once the application is installed, uh, if you come into Salesforce setup and I type for uh, installed packages, we're going to be able to see exactly um, what's installed. And I know that there's somewhere to even show uh, when uh, well, there's a couple of ways to see when a package was installed, um, and we'll dig into that in a second. Uh, so I come in here into the installed packages, and we see fast call, and I'm going to click on view components. And this is where Salesforce is going to list uh, everything that's installed. It's not really organized um, by object. I don't think we can even sort um, by object. They just kind of lump everything together. But you can see, um, so phone number, and I'm not doing this in a specific order, but uh, there's an object for call receivers, inbound call receivers. There's an object for phone numbers. It makes a lot of sense. Um, there's some objects for things that are um, sort of really behind the scenes, this call uh, interaction. The IVR is for setting up the IVR. Uh, we see these again. Um, so, so here's a good example. So task, this is the a task layout. This is a sample page layout that we put in the package that our subscribers are not really expected to use, but it's a, it's a sample task page layout because Salesforce wouldn't let us uh, edit your existing task layout. We can't edit any task layout. So any custom fields of which we're seeing lots of here um, on your standard objects like task, you have to edit that object. And that's really the purpose of, uh, of this, uh, this video is to talk about specifically the tasks and custom fields. So if we sort of go through some, some more of these, um, again, you're going to see lots of these are apex classes or code, um, but we're going to see where there are objects and then fields. And again, if we sort of roll through here and we look for um, some fields on task, green, if I do a, a search, um, you're going to see we don't have a lot of custom fields uh, on the task object um, because Salesforce uh, limits the number of custom fields on task. It's limited by Salesforce to 100, and that's a hard limit. You, you, you cannot buy more custom fields from Salesforce for task. So if you have uh, if fast call, we don't, but if fast call used 50 custom fields on task and you had another application that used 30 and then you tried to install another application that had another 21, that install would fail, right? And then your own, of course, custom fields. So Salesforce has a hard limit on custom fields on task and you cannot buy more and processes will fail. If you, if, for one, if you try to install an application that has uh, 20 custom fields on task, even if you only wanted to use 19 of those custom fields, it's a good example, 
You could not. Salesforce, Salesforce doesn't give that option to say, hey, let's go select the fields that we want in our package. Uh, Salesforce doesn't, doesn't do that. So as a developer, and we've asked Salesforce this question, we said, developer, hey, how do we know how many custom fields to put in the package? And, and quite honestly, how do we know how many custom fields are even available in New York? Well, the only way we know how many are available is we have to ask the admin. Um, and in terms of how many to use, you, we just decided to ha use our best judgment, right? To use um, a, a, a limited number of custom fields on tasks so that we're not using too many. And um, a while ago, gosh, I'd have to look and we'll see it. Um, we introduced a custom data model, uh, which is, here's one of the, those uh, calls. Um, we introduced our own custom objects to map calls, calls, connections, connection attempts, uh, voicemail, reply calls. We now have a planned call, though I think. Um, so we have, and those are those custom objects. A are not competing with any other installed package. You'll never have an installed package that's going to add fields to our custom objects. I can't think of one. I mean, unless it's some uh, custom pack, some package that's specifically designed to, to do that. But I can't think of one. Um, so it's it's an object that we alone control. And heck, even if another um, package installed a field, it, it's still our object, right? We, we can, we claim ownership of that object, right? So we're not fighting for competing for, um, fields on our custom object with other packages or even our own subscribers. Though, of course, subscribers could add custom fields to the object if they wanted to, a, a custom field to call. You certainly could do that. Um, so we introduced our own data model uh, calls, connections, connection attempts, and we are um, logging more detail on those objects. And at the time that we did that, and I'll look up in the notes, I think that may have been 2016, and it's been a couple of years, maybe 2017. Um, at the time that we did that, we went and we deleted a bunch of fields off of the task object. We just said, look, we're using too many fields on the, t on the standard task object, and our subscribers are adding, asking us for more. They, our subscribers say, we want more, um, and we just couldn't add any more fields on the task object. Plus, we knew that it was time to have our own data model because we wanted to be able to um, start to log more details, such as when calls are transferred or calls are ringing multiple users. And we did that through calls, connections, connection attempts. We could really start to log more details. And we used to do all that as a task. And it was just really messy because we tried to capture multiple call legs with tasks. And it, 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 there's, there was no hierarchical structure um, with tasks. So it just, it was, it, we, we outgrew it. Um, and this is, again, it's quite a while ago. Um, so here's the thing. Salesforce does not allow, um, and for a long time, um, Salesforce did not allow a partner to delete um, anything from a package. When a package was installed, that was it. You could, something couldn't be deleted. That was changed, um, well, probably around the same time, though, right around maybe three years ago. Um, I have to research that. But, but for a long while, Salesforce did not. But now Salesforce does allow um, does allow artifacts to be deleted from a package. But here, but here's the thing. Um, when a partner deletes something from the package, and you can see here unused components, I and mean, these are deleted, but Salesforce is saying that these are unused components. So when I'm looking at what's installed, and this is in Salesforce, I happen to be looking at FastCall, but I'm in Salesforce. Um, these are things that have been deleted. So what Salesforce says, if you were to install our application new tomorrow, and FastCall is probably a great example of this because I've had FastCall installed since the very first version, right? That makes sense. Um, if, when we, if we looked in a brand new org and installed the latest version of FastCall, you would see nothing here because everything that's in the package is current. Um, and these artifacts are not being um, installed, but they were at one time. And um, um, you'll see here that a lot of them are on the activity record, which is the task, right? So activities, right? Activities, so here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 fields, right? That we deleted off of the task, the Salesforce activity because it was too much, right? So we deleted them. And what we did was we moved that data 
to our custom object for uh, for calls and connections and connection attempts. Um, things that were describing the ACD right at one point, right? So at that time, three or four years ago, we were we were trying to describe uh, ACDs and do so on the activity. We don't now, currently, we're doing that on calls. Uh, some information about Twilio, and here's one call time. So call time, as an example, if I click on this, was a um, custom field in a standard object that is in fact only a formula that takes the time out of the created date. So when we log calls, and here's the created date, when we log calls, we're actually, we're using the Salesforce timestamp. Uh, oh, here it is, I knew this it was. So this was av available from the very beginning, right? From version 1.65, almost, first, the first, our first published version was 1.30, so almost the beginning, and was deprecated in 4.68. So here's a great example. Um, Salesforce, we it wasn't we Salesforce doesn't automatically delete this. They say that it's deprecated, and and when a uh, field is deprecated or an object um, is deprecated, it can be deleted by the admin. When it when a uh, when a field is still managed, it cannot be deleted. So there's a field in our package cannot be deleted. Uh, fields in our package actually, I don't think you can even see them. So this has now been deprecated, which also means I could edit this. What you could not do with a with a managed object, right? Um, so basically, Salesforce says, "Hey, you installed somewhere before version 4.68, um, so you have this field. It's now yours because the partner has deprecated it. It's now yours. You can delete it or you can edit it, but it's no longer managed." And you can see here, this was in uh, well, my org, uh, 2014, right? So um, it means that. Um, it was, it was no longer, um, but it also means that the partner cannot maintain this field because it's not our package anymore. So if you said, Hey, we need you to update call time, right? Something else. We can't because it's not in our package anymore. And if we put it in our package, it's no longer deprecated. And it added another custom field on task, which is something that we're not doing. So there are fields in the package that are deprecated. And there are fields in the package that could be deleted. So you could, in fact, so now I've sort of switched over. Um, and if I came down to call, I don't know why Salesforce gives us that in two different views. But if in fact, oh no, no, but um, but if I did in fact go over to the call time, oh that's funny, in uh, Salesforce, right? I can come over here and I have an option to delete. Funny, Salesforce doesn't give an option to delete on the field itself, isn't that odd? Um, but they do, isn't that weird? But they do in the uh, summary page. I, I, I don't know why that is. But you'll see that because this has been deleted from our package, um, it could actually be deleted by the admin. But but fields that are still managed by Fastcall will not have um, the ability to uh, to be deleted. I don't remember exactly which are. Um, so a managed field um, cannot uh, still still be um deleted um okay so i just wanted to talk about that so um all the fields that are added by fast call are going to be shown um during installation they're going to be shown under uh, again under managed pack installed packages um not that it mattered but i sort of mentioned as we were talking that um yeah, you know, here's an example. So Intercall is our latest application. We released it um, in May 2020. This is our most recent package. Uh, if I say view components here, um, we are only going to see, right? We're only going to see package components, right? We're not going to see any unused components because there's nothing that's been deleted from this package. Not to say that we wouldn't delete something from the package. Listen, we, we you know, it's code it changes, right? Um, but that's actually a uh, a good example. And as I um, as we also saw, Salesforce will tell you not that it really matters, but they will tell you when something was added, a field was added, and when it stopped being supported. So we we uh, saw that. There's one other um, area which I'll show um, real fast. Um, there are a couple of fields um, that are added. Um, after installation that are optional. And 
something that we really just started doing recently. And again, maybe it's a good example. It, it, it enables us, so on our custom objects, right? There's no harm in us adding fields in a custom object because there are objects and there are fields and it's not counting against governor limits. It's really just not a whole lot of downside. Um, we are logging um, multiple records for a call. So there was some data usage, but other than data usage in Salesforce is just not really, uh, has given us more overall. So it's given subscribers more data. So other than data usage, but that's all point of the applications to lock all. So you, you, you want that data usage. Um, other than data usage, there's, there's no harm of, of having objects and fields because they're not counting against government limits with the exception of tasks. So I, um, so there's no disadvantage of us tasks, but when it comes to adding fields to standard objects, adding fields to leads, to contacts, to accounts, we talked about adding fields to, to Salesforce task. We just take a lot of caution because again, it is, these are shared objects. And though task has a hard limit of a hundred fields, and I don't think that's changed. I haven't searched on that in a year, a um, couple of years, honestly, but I don't think that that's changed. Could have changed, but at the time for a long time you could. I mean, I could Google it, but um, um, but we we use a lot of caution when adding custom fields to standard objects. But when subscribers say to us, they say, "Hey, we really would like to see some data on um, calls on specific objects." So Fastcall has this man has a managed object. So what we're basically doing is we're saying these are the objects that um, we're managing. I don't know, we, we ended up with some, some that don't really belong. Um, and I think by default, I'd have to look, but account and contact and lead are all gonna be there when you install the application. Maybe case, I'm not really sure. Um, idea, for sure, no, I have no idea where this object is. It's not one of ours. I don't even know where that came from. That maybe that's a trailhead thing. I'm not really sure. Social persona is also, I don't know where that came from. Listen, we install things. We all do. I don't even know where that came from. Uh, solution. I mean, these, I have no idea where these, where these objects have come from. And I honestly don't even know how they got added here, but we all have our own orgs, right? So, but you may say, listen, I, I want to use, so this managed objects does a few things for, for one, it helps until we says up here, it, it helps us look up inbound call records. So when an inbound call comes in, do you want to look up an account? Do you want to look up a contact? Do you want to look up a lead? You may say, do you know what? I don't want to look up leads and you may remove this. You say, we're not using leads. We don't want to manage leads. So this is where you manage this, but really more so it's the opportunity. That's probably where I've added some of those. I was doing past videos. Uh, it is more so the opportunity to say, do you know, I, I have a custom object that, and I want to, I want fast call to be able to manage that. So we add it here. Um, it also creates a lookup relationship between the calls and that object. So the, the, it creates the lookup in the data model between that object and calls so that you have a lookup. The Salesforce task um, generally has that lookup or you add that, similarly, you would add that lookup to the task and the object. So this is where we're enabling you to do that. Um, this also creates some reporting and it creates um, some custom fields for that object. Matter of fact, I just removed a couple of objects. I'm, I'm curious, I'm not sure, actually sure if we would remove those fields. I don't think that we would have, but we are adding fields to these objects. So for example, um, accounts. So if I now come in back to settings, sorry to, Kind of making this a long video. I'll be finished in a two, three minutes. Um, so if I come back in to, and this is an example again of, uh, what am I looking for? Objects. This is an example of, we are creating fields in the package, but not installed with the package. So these are created um, after installation, post in, after installation. So if I look at account and I look at uh, fields, um, there are some, uh, fields that are added by fast call after installation and and you 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 could delete them um, and I think one of them might be call count right so call count is added and you can delete it because it, it was it's not a managed field it's not managed by our application because it's not installed with the application it's kind of a subtle difference so basically we're saying hey listen we don't want to we don't want to package right call count inbound so here they are call count call count inbound call count internal call count outbound 
this particular field may actually be older. We may have deprecated that 2018, probably older. I have to double check. Let's, let's look at another one. So call it 2018, call count uh, outbound, right? Is probably recent. Yeah, 20. So we so we updated this in April, actually, right? So we updated this. Um, so these fields are now created uh, after the installation. So you can now say, you know, I don't want these. You delete them. But if they are packaged, you can't delete them. So this was our way of saying, here's some additional information that you've asked for, call count outbound, um, call count inbound. I think there's also some last call dates, right? So if we just sort of search for call in here, kind of we'll find a lot of stuff, right? Um, here the uh, some of this is unique to our org. And again, the only way to really know is to look at the dates. Um, you know, fast call like others are not always super fastidious about deleting stuff. Uh, anyway, so there it's there. So so these are fields that are added um, after the installation only to objects that you say are managed and you have the ability to delete them. So they are different than fields. I don't think we have any fields that are packaged. I can't even, that with the accounts that cannot be deleted. Maybe a lookup, I don't know, I'd have to ask the developers, maybe a lookup relationship um, to the call. I'd have to do some more research on that. Um, anyway, I hope this was helpful. This is a very specific deep dive into, into data and fields um, and things that can be deleted, but sometimes the, this comes up and I, I wanted to uh, to go over that in a, uh, in a detailed video. Please email if you have any questions. Otherwise, thank you very much uh, for a video that um, hopefully was not terribly boring.